Passing this budget agreement was critical. The stakes could not have been higher. If we had failed to reach an agreement on the budget, there were extreme voices threatening to take America for the first time in our 247-year history into default on our national debt. Nothing, nothing would have been more irresponsible. Nothing would have been more catastrophic. Our economy... It was critical to reach an agreement. And it's very good news for the American people. No one got everything they wanted, but the American people got what they needed. We averted an economic crisis, an economic collapse. We're cutting spending and bringing the deficits down at the same time. We're protecting important ones. And now, a bipartisan budget agreement. This is vital because, it's because it's essential to the progress we've made over the last few years is keeping full faith and credit of the United States of America and passing a budget that continues to grow our economy and reflects our values as a nation. That's why I'm speaking to you tonight, to report on the crisis averted and what we're doing to protect America's future. I know bipartisanship is hard and unity is hard, but we can never stop trying. Because in moments like this one, the ones we just faced, where the American economy and the world economy is at risk of collapsing. There's no other way. No matter how tough our politics gets, we need to see each other, not as adversaries, but as fellow Americans. Treat each other with dignity and respect. To join Without unity, there is no peace, only bitterness and fury. And we can never become that country. I can honestly say, I can honestly say to you tonight that I've never been more optimistic about America's future. We just need to remember who we are. We are the United States of America. And there's nothing, nothing we can't do when we do it together.